So the next algorithm I'm going to be talking about is the Louvain and Leiden clustering algorithm. These are two slightly related um, or very similar related algorithms uh, with Leiden being uh, kind of an extension of Louvain. Um, but the Louvain algorithm is essentially a community detection algorithm that is for network data sets usually, and was first introduced in 2008. Um, and for the Louvain algorithm, you think of data points more as interconnected nodes that can be represented as more of a graph-like structure with nodes and edges. Um, and you're basically looking to partition out what the original authors would call these quote unquote neighborhoods or communities of very interconnected nodes within this larger graph. And the Louvain algorithm kind of seeks to optimize modularity, which is just the density of connections within a community compared to between communities. So again, looking at how we can actually minimize the distance between intra-cluster entities and then maximize the distance between clusters. And Louvain algorithm does not rely on any assumptions of data set shape or size. If you think about kind of a graph structure, it's really uh, all you really need is this information on the connections between those data sets or data set, data points. So for the Louvain algorithm, you start with a single partition um, where essentially all of the nodes are in their own community. So here, every single node in this plot is considered as its own community. And then you iterate through two phases until you cannot increase this quality score or this modularity score any further. So the first phase will be local node movement, where you are moving nodes to different communities to try to maximize this modularity. So for instance, in this step, we're moving all of these nodes to three different communities that are now represented by the red, blue, and green um, colors, if you can see that. And then the second phase is network aggregation. So once you've moved all your nodes to communities to maximize the modularity, you aggregate those new clusters or communities into nodes themselves within the network. And then you can actually repeat the whole phase of local node movement again with those new aggregated nodes, if that makes sense. So one problem with the Louvain algorithm as it was proposed, um, is that communities may actually be very weakly uh, connected in the sense that um, the way if you're moving certain nodes, it's possible that two sub-communities within a community are connected by one node, as you can see here in this A plot. Um, and then if you move that connecting node, you might end up with a situation where that connection node is in a different community, and then those two sub-communities are actually not connected at all, but they're still considered as one community. Um, and so the Leiden clustering algorithm was introduced in 2019 as an improvement or an extension of the Louvain algorithm to try to address this problem. Um, and it's also worth noting that the Leiden algorithm is running, uh, does run a little bit faster than the Louvain algorithm. So the Leiden clustering algorithm follows the same general process as the Louvain algorithm with an additional phase added in. Um, so you still have that local node movement where you're moving individual nodes to different communities um, and you start with each node in its own community. But then the second phase um, is actually what they call partition refinement. So this is where nodes are actually further partitioned within a community and they're assigned to sub-communities. And actually you're optimizing now the placement of those sub-communities within a community. And then for the network aggregation step, instead of aggregating the communities into the nodes, you actually use that refined partition with the sub-communities to aggregate those communities into new nodes so that you won't end up with the situation where sub-communities are disjoint but consider the same community. Because if one sub-community ends up being disconnected from a community, then it will also move into the new community rather than being kind of part of this disconnected community. <laughs> 